Everybody, welcome to What Culture Gaming. I'm Scott, joined by Josh. Hello, Josh, my friend. Now, this thing is more of a discussion point, but I think there are a few things lining up as to why I think, and a few other people online think, that the PS5 seems to be in a bit of trouble. Yes, I mean, I'm, I'm firmly in the camp that I think everything's going to be all right, mm. but I can see why people would be worried because the messaging has kind of been all over the place, and Sony themselves have been very, very quiet. Yeah, that's what I was getting to. So, it's, why are you worried, um, Scott? Well, the thing is, there's a few things lining up. So, the first one I was going to point to is the initial reveal date that we thought we were going to get um, at the beginning of February. Now this uh, came from a few different sources but one of the ones at the end of January uh, was David Jaffe who used to work for Sony Santa Monica and sort of he referred to the PS5's reveal event as being the worst secret in gaming yeah. um, and said it was coming within the next four weeks. Now that was back on um, January the 14th um, so obviously those four weeks have come and gone now uh, and no PS5 uh, reveal event. So that's, that's point one. Um, I don't know how much you put any stock into that original reveal event but I trust Mr. Jaffe well, and he seemed to be wrong. Well this is it. We did a lot of videos on this reveal event. Mm. Even back late last year when February was touted as the potential month that Sony were going to unveil the PlayStation 5. Mm -hmm. And I was honestly all in on it. Yes. But the thing about this is, even though everyone was talking about it and David Jaffe even mentioned it, Sony themselves never said that they had anything lined up for February. No. That was us, you know, going off rumors and leaks and putting a lot of stock in that. Mm -hmm. So I can't really fault Sony for not following through on a date no. that they never actually laid down. And yeah, they have actually mentioned that the reveal and the release of the PlayStation 5 is following a similar timeline to the PlayStation 4, yes. which was announced in late February. So yes. it could still be coming, just perhaps at the start of March. Thing is with that, um, so yeah, the PS4 was revealed on Fe February the 20th in uh, 2013, and then it was it was revealed is November. Is that exactly seven years ago to this day? Yes, actually. That's eh? cool, I like that. I didn't know you in my life back then. No, oh, What a lovely us. time we were both having. But um, yeah, the, uh, so yeah, that back then, February 20th, and if that's true, then assumedly uh, they still have something to reveal at the end of the month. But um, the ne this isn't necessarily my next big point, but it's worth noting that in um, PlayStation have booked out uh, a conference on the 29th of February. They have Sony have a thing listed called a private event uh, at the, I think it's in San Francisco, um, and assumedly that's going to be the next reveal. Yeah. But that's only like a week away. And yes. I think, I mean, unless they're going to Pokemon Go it and just drop an announcement, by the way, the the reveal's happening now. I think they're gonna miss that too. I have more things to back this up, but yeah. Yeah, this is an interest, because this was the crux of the last time we did a video yes. on the potential reveal event, is that they have this space booked out for this date, which seemed to line up with the other rumors. And that happened, that, that booking was made after the 5th of February. Yes. After the um, the initial rumored date for the start of February, the David Jaffe thing. After that fell through, they they booked this thing. Yeah, because they've got this um, sort of two week long celebration of Sony and PlayStation, everything like that. Yes. Um, so I could see this potentially happening if they've sent the invites out to to, you know, publishers and press and everything like that, if mm -hmm. they're all keeping it on the down low, and then they might just announce it, uh, you know, a couple of days before and say, oh, by the way, this thing that we've had booked in, it's actually the PlayStation 5 <laughs> reveal event, so look forward to that. Mm -hmm. That would be a nice way to do it. Sony, over the past few uh, months or whatever, mm -hmm. have been announcing things quite close to their launch in terms of marketing anyway, mm. like the state of plays are always announced pretty close to when they're, you know, actually dropped. So the same thing could be happening. At the same time, I'm not holding my breath because I feel like because this has been penciled in for so long, mm -hmm. they would have said if it was a PlayStation 5 thing, yeah. I wonder whether they're going to do that separate or what. I just, I, in the in the modern climate of dropping stuff, like, like, like you said, it's like you do something last minute. And like I said, my go-to example is something like Pokemon Go because that game, we didn't even know it was coming outside of a teaser trailer years beforehand for an April Fool's joke and then it was just all of a sudden it was there you could download it it was available biggest thing on the planet overnight uh, some different bands have tried to do that the last event sevenfold album was like by the way it's just revealed and I think some I think that's a new trend yeah. try and just go by the way this massive thing is happening write the F right now go figure it out um, but at the same time we're only a week out from this potential release day and it's the PS5 and because they've pulled out of E3 assumingly they're going to want to make some sort of a they want to shine something of a spotlight on the day that they do have yes what I will say though I am um... When it comes to how the big two announced their consoles for the last generation, mm -hmm. Microsoft and Sony, obviously, Sony came out first and they announced that they had a PlayStation 5 and then Microsoft responded because, mm. I assume, Microsoft was the leader, essentially. They didn't yes. have anything to prove. Now the tables have turned and Sony is in the lead sales-wise. So I wonder whether they're playing kind of a game of chicken with Microsoft. <laughs> this links into something else I think you're going to talk about, about the price. Yes. Because it seems like Sony are playing a game of wait and see, essentially. They are the market leader at the moment 
environment, mm -hmm. and they're seeing how Microsoft acts, so then they can perhaps you know respond you know in response to that. Yeah, yeah. I'll get to the price stuff in a bit because I think that that's not as big as my next point. I'm hinging a lot of it on this next point because this is the thing that is affecting okay. so many companies right now. Obviously, right now there is the global epidemic of the coronavirus, um, which they've sort of categorized uh, as being the COVID-19, which is the specific strain of the coronavirus. Fun fact, the coronavirus is the name given to even like a common cold. We've all got coronavirus every now and then, but there's different strains of it that get worse. I didn't know so, that. Just letting you know. But uh, the coronavirus obviously affecting, you know, so many different countries and so many different industries and so many different products that are coming together. Um, it's worth pointing out that um, now Sony initially commented on this back on the 14th of February and said like, it's not gonna have any effect on us. That was one of the statements that they put out. But after that, obviously the virus has gotten worse. There's so many more examples of it popping up. Um, and Apple had to issue a statement on the uh, 17th saying that all of their production factories were affected in China. Um, China's also where the PS5 is being made. Um, so Apple are directly affected by it. Um, the day after, um, Trendforce, who are a, a different website that, that um, follow these things, put their report out um, and said that all major, or a bunch of different major industries are being affected and video game consoles were cited as one of them. Um, now Nintendo are rolled up in that stuff too. But um, yeah, the Trendforce thing, uh, that was on the 18th, said that smartphones, fiber wire, and consoles will be directly affected by the virus itself, yeah. um, which I think rolls in to the fact that Sony haven't been very clear about when things are dropping. And I've got, again, I've got more to say, yes. but I think the coronavirus directly affects their production. Well, you know what? I have no real counter argument to this because when this first was, you that know, was announced that it, it was really loud, yeah. my, my ears hit a sonic their boom. Problem. They popped, <laughs> they, they, they burst. When, my ears um, still ringing, carry on. <laughs> when this was first reported on, there was a bunch of counter reports that also popped up saying that don't overblow it. It probably won't have too much of an impact on the production, mm. um, you know, cost, not cost, production, like, output. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, the fact of the matter is, at the moment, we just kind of don't know. Sony haven't commented on it properly, officially. Mm -hmm. And like you said, the virus has kind of been spreading, and in response to that, um, things are being more quarantined, well, things are shutting down. Like, the, the entire Chinese box office, the second biggest in the world, mm -hmm. has come to a standstill. Yeah. So it's not out of the question that this would, you know, hamper production. I mentioned Nintendo before, and that came from a Bloomberg report that wasn't part of Trend Force's thing, but it was that, that idea that you know these massive companies are being directly affected by it. Microsoft less so, because I think less of their consoles are made in China, but Sony and Nintendo still rely on China's industry yeah. um, to turn those things around. Um, Sony just very recently pulled out of PAX East as well, um, citing the coronavirus as the reason why. Now that's obviously gonna be different. The nuance of that is that they, I mean, they said that they prioritize their global workforce as their highest concern, um, and they obviously just don't wanna go to a mass attended event in a region that's known for potential outbreaks. Um, so that's slightly different, but they're very much aware of the coronavirus, and I just kind of wonder if they're gonna hang back on stuff until it's a bit of a safer world to be in. Well, it could be. I mean, even without sort of unseen events like this, mm. uh, the production of next-gen consoles has always been an issue. The getting the parts always seems to be like a problem. <laughs> they over extend All the Blu-ray diode the thing. The Blu-ray diode. Back in the day. Everything. I'm sure there was one in regards to the, uh, maybe it was the PlayStation 4's camera. There was something with the PlayStation 4 that was, just, was mm. strange, and it halted production, but either way, where we all pre-order these consoles and there's never enough supply to match the demand. No. So with the added thing of, you know, the world responding to the coronavirus, I can see this having an impact in that kind of does so. Well, yeah, and you're mentioning parts, and uh, this is my next thing down, is that again, Bloomberg have reported on, uh, apparently the PS5 has this new age uh, cooling system and it requires some very specific parts to get, very similar to the Blu-ray, uh, the Blu-ray diode problem that they have with the PS3. Um, and then apparently these parts are harder to get, which is um, meaning that the PlayStation's price is gonna to be higher um, and apparently the cost of production for a single ps5 is 450 dollars which is about 345 to 350 pounds um that's the the manufacturing cost it's not the retail cost so obviously they still need to figure out what the hell they're going to sell it to us for so they make something of a profit yes because um, sony did initially make a loss on the ps3 for the first like year of production um but at the same time and um, because these parts are harder to get um i think that's directly going to impact their availability and it's going to change the way that they yeah. can roll stuff out and then the, the, there's also the comment that um sony's like i forget the name of the dude that put the comment out. I think it was Hiroki Totoki, which is a uh, Sony senior executive, saying that they're waiting, they're literally waiting to see what Microsoft are gonna do and they're gonna price it accordingly. So yeah. it just, it's not very confident for a company that has a release. <sighs> To reveal event in potentially a week. No, but this is, in my opinion, very fascinating because, mm. like you said, th the parts are expensive, but that indicates that this is going to be a proper generational leap. And mm. I think people are hungry for that. Yes. Or, as good as the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 were, they were underpowered even at the time. And that was reflected in the price. They were cheaper than and the, the games. consoles and the games. <laughs> but um, I feel like with more. Eurogamer and Digital Foundry did an excellent sort of piece in response to this, mm. this idea that the, the PlayStation 4 would be overpriced because they weren't 
denying the fact that the parts are expensive and it's going to mm -hmm. cost $450 to make it should they all be accurate. Mm -hmm. But Sony can eat a bit of a loss in them. Like you said, Maybe. consoles in the past have been sold at a loss and they make it up with software sales. Mm -hmm. They mentioned in the piece that there's obviously usually a higher attach rate with games to consoles sold at the time so mm -hmm. they can make money back. And it does kind of make sense that they're just seeing what um, Microsoft do because mm. back in the day Sony's price point undercut um, the Xbox One and mm. that helped the PlayStation 4 sell a lot of copies so I don't yeah. think they want to come out and make that mistake like they did with the PlayStation 3 beforehand mm -hmm. so it does make business sense it's just kind of who's oh, going it, to pull the trigger first. Yeah, yeah yeah it makes sense to wait it out and make sure that you've got all the components make sure that you can put on this big reveal event you know without fear of something like the coronavirus affecting it um, you know and, and wait it out until all the pieces line up that, that's hence why I'm saying that for now I don't think those elements line up and I right. think we're actually in in store for a delay announcement but like obviously like Josh said they haven't they haven't literally said that the end of February is the date it's just that it's like David Jaffe said that it was leaked by multiple sources on Twitter yes. and they've booked out this private room that they haven't said what it's for and so it's things like that but I guess they don't have to necessarily officially delay something that they never officially said was coming in the first place but yeah. behind the scenes for me it looks like they're not that confident about it I'm gonna throw one more thing in Come as well me one more um, a very recent thing not as big as the something as big as the production woes um, but again, Hiroki Tatsuki um, mentioned on a very recent earnings call um, that he said it was very difficult to discuss the timing of the release of the console um, and just said that um, as of today, we're providing guidance at a time period, which is comparable to the past, which is the thing that relates to the potential reveal of February. Um, but he said that we're not changing the schedule. So it's like, I don't know, they seem to be going for that, but then they, I've just it's not enough confidence <laughs> is what I want. I want confidence from Sony at this point. Well, because I've spent a lot of time stupidly reading this shareholder speak and what executives say to yes. investors and stuff. It's legalese, always, they call it. Legalese. It's always quite vague. It's always, yes. you know, people at EA saying that they have games coming and that they're really exciting, but we can't tell you more Unique because we haven't, yeah, because we haven't properly announced, announced them. Mm -hmm. And this to me just kind of smells like that. It's them encouraging investors that we do have a plan. Look, we have a plan. But because we haven't <laughs> announced it, we don't want this to be the way the news is broken, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So I don't actually put too much stock into this point. I think that's, if anything, more a confirmation that things are on track because they're telling investors we're not having to move any dates things are comparable to the past so maybe it's going to be all right and we okay, just can't okay. tell you yet chips on the table do you think that we're going to get a ps5 reveal in a week <laughs> because that's what that if this isn't true and they're not having problems then yes. it is the february of reveal and david jaffe was right and all the leaks were correct and the, the private room event is the reveal of the ps5 which is on february the 29th look I'm i don't think so i'm not gonna bet my house on the ps5 being announced in a week's you time you haven't got a house man. i haven't got a house i've got a flat that i don't bet even know on your but Microwave? Uh, I do want a microwave. I will bet my microwave. I will not bet my microwave on the <laughs> fact that it's coming in a week. But I do think it has to be imminent just because of what the executive has just said there. Mm. I, I, if it's if it's if we get to this time next month and it's the 20th of March yep. and there's still no word on when they're going to announce it, then then I will be <laughs> with you being very worried. But okay. for now. I'm not quite there yet. That's, that's okay. I, I'm, I hold out hope. I hope that we do see the PS5 in a week. I just, the the, the, the gut, the rumblings are there. The rumblings in the tummy. Yeah, and we had fast food, but I think that's what it is. So if everyone lets, everyone, if people let us know down in the comments below what they think, is it potential that the PS5 could be delayed or do you think it's going to be here by the end of the month? For now though, I've been Scott from Oculture.com. I've been Josh from Oculture.com. I'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye. Do you mean to insult your house for a second then? No, I, what do you mean I don't own a house? You haven't got I mean, a house. I mean, it's, it's correct, but... Just <laughs> slagging you off for no reason. What if I didn't own a microwave? That sounded funnier <laughs> in my head. Good. That was pretty... Hey, Josh, what have you not got? Good. <laughs>